Sir, do you find na nahihirapan din yung mga LGU uh, dun sa amount of discretion that you give them uh, to decide uh, when uh, to admit stranded individuals home and how they can communicate it to all the other LGUs particularly NCR, where majority of the LSIs are. No? Uh, can you just describe to us how really difficult that might be for LGU leaders in general, the mayors and the governors, no? yung discretion that they have to exercise in order to keep their localities COVID-free but at the same time, to welcome their own constituents home. It's really, it's really difficult. And, and some of the governors really are very cautious and very strict about it because uh, it's not easy to maintain a COVID-free province and, of course, uh, prevent their residents from coming back who are still working in NCR, who we yeah. know, which we know is the epicenter of COVID. Yes. So um, that's why in, in the Balik Provincia program, really intends to allow, you know, allow the LSI to return to the provinces, most especially those who are in the, who are informal settlers, mm -hmm. who have no way of, um, uh, having a livelihood with this yes. with this situation, yes. And the best way is to return to the province. Perhaps they have more chances of of getting uh, of feeding their family. Right. Pero kung ayaw naman sa kanila, nangyang hirap eh. What if the LGU? And I know that some LGUs would rather not, at least not this mm. time. So how do you uh, make them come to a, a fair agreement on when to receive the... In other words, how do you implement this Balik Provincia in a manner that will be win-win for both the returning resident and the LGU who's wary? That's why uh, there's a good suggestion by former Governor Sherry Antan, who's now the congressman who is all, now presently the congressman, uh, they had a proactive stance. Hindi na nila hihintayin, no? Hindi na nila hihintayin yung, yung LSI. They already, uh, the, uh, what the, the, proposal, the proposal was is for all governors to have, a, uh, uh, they have to trace the LSIs or they have to trace those who would want to return and then provide them with vehicles provide them with livelihood, provide them with the, with the hotline where they could uh, uh, communicate with the family. Um, short of saying, in order for this to work, the governor should be more proactive. Hindi dapat para naghihintay. Kailangan ikaw ang nagre-reach out doon sa mga kababayan mo na gusto nang umuwi. Okay. At kung gusto makauwi, dapat takahanda na rin yung mga governors. It should not be a mentality of wait and see. It should be a mentality of being proactive. Otherwise, hindi pwede yung, you know, uh, wag kayo pumasok dahil, no, you, you, you have to help the national government to, to locate these this people who would want to return to your province. And I think Governor uh, Sherry Antan's proposal is now being discussed in the IATF. And hopefully the League of Provinces and the League of Cities should play more of an active role here. Hindi yung parang, let's keep it safe. There should be more of a proactive uh, role on the part of the pro governors and the city mayors. I, I get the impression sometimes that it's the LGU leaders themselves who actually are not buying into the Balik Provincia program. They're actually resistant. Am there, I wrong? There, the, very few. Very few. Meron naman, but uh, pag napapaliwa na aga naman po, and I'm sure hindi naman nila pwedeng, botante nila yung mga yun eh. Hindi nila pwedeng uh, tanggihan ng pamilik ang mga, mga taumbayan at mga botante nila. So, they really have to entertain them and, and provide for them. 
Uh, kasi karamihan sa mga yan naman, pagdating ng uh, election, bumabalik sa probinsya at bumuboto doon minsan. Hindi pa bumuboto sa Metro Manila yan. Bumuwi sa mga probinsya yan at bumuboto. So, uh, it's also something that the governors should look into. That's why in, the, in, in our policy right now, we are looking into helping the governors and the city mayors to play an active role. Tama yung proposal ni Congressman Sherry Antan that, you know, ikaw nang, ikaw nang mag-reach out. Huwag ka nang huwag mong hintayin na sila pang pumunta dito at hindi kahanda. Before they come in, dapat may mga tao ka na nasa NCR who are, you know, taking care of them and ensuring that they are safe in coming back to the province. Hindi yung magugulat na lang na nandiyan dahil kulang ang communication. Kaya ako kasi nagkukulang ng communication kasi ho minsan ang mga ibang local government uh, mayors at governors natin are just wait and see attitude. Hindi na dapat ito ganun. You really have to to care for the for your constituents and look after their welfare even to the extent of extending more of uh, assisting them in the returning. Music